Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, or afternoon, evening, whatever time you know you're watching it. All right, welcome to Tommy Just Being Real, my channel about dating, love, relationships, and toxic relationships. If I am so yes, we're going to talk about this sewer rat again. Yeah, sewer rat. All right, well, I came across this video, and this is insane. So I came across this video, and um, and I'm going to show you the video. So sewer rat's grandma has something to say. Yeah, very interesting. All right, so make sure you um hit the like button and make sure you share your thoughts and opinions in the comment section. Tell me what do you think. And also vote. Let me know, do you think that Sewer Rat's grandma might be an enabler too? Just like mama. See, there go mama. Let's show mama. Show mama. Yeah. So I'm going to show this clip. And then after I show the clip, I'm going to also show a clip of the mother again. Yes, I'm going to show the mother again. So we're just going to go back to Mama. And today, we the spotlight is on Grandma. Because next week, it's going to be Daryl Brooks' sentencing. So let's see. Sewer Rats, Daryl Brooks Jr.'s grandmother, speaking on his behalf at the sentencing. Well, she has all rights to be there. But let's see what happens. All right. So um, just give me a second here. Let me share this screen. I should already have it set up, but I didn't. All right, let's just watch this brief, this brief clip and hear a little bit of what does she have to say, why she wants to be at the sentencing, why does she feel the need to talk. Mm -hmm. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's get it. Five Daryl Brooks facing life in next Tuesday at sentencing. That's after a jury convicted him on all counts in the Waukesha Christmas Parade tragedy. Bruce Harrison will be in the courtroom for those proceedings, and he tells us what to expect from those who will speak at the sentencing. Some of those people will be walking down this hall to go into that courtroom where they will make statements in person. Others have the opportunity to appear over Zoom. It's the final stage in what's been an incredibly dramatic trial. In a letter to the court, District Attorney Stu Oppers says all oral victims will be made in person. The record also shows minors will be speaking. For now, their names and written impact statements remain under seal. Guilty. Sentencing comes after a jury found Daryl Brooks guilty on all counts last month. He's facing life in prison. On Friday, I spoke with his mother, Don Woods, by phone and grandmother over Zoom. Well, I just want to help. They both plan to speak on his behalf in sentencing next week for Zoom. 80-year-old Mary Darlene Edwards is an ordained health kid. As I want people. Um, not, and I have three generations of bipolar people in my family. Brooks' mother and grandmother believe he's mentally ill, and that led him to drive through the parade. There are so many uh, focus, so much focus now on mental health more than ever before. I don't want to call it a hot topic. It's a critical issue. Sensing begins on Tuesday morning and is scheduled to last through Wednesday. Reporting in Waukesha, Bruce Harrison, TMJ4 News. Okay, I'm so sorry to head on mute. All right, so it looks like um Sue Rat's grandma has something to say. And we're gonna see what she has to say. This is gonna be very interesting. But you know, she has all rights to be there to speak on behalf of her grandson if she likes, right? Correct. Hmm. I wonder if she's another one is a neighbor like his mama. 
Yep, mama enable her too. All right, so I'm gonna um play another video and we're gonna go back memory lane with the family. So we're gonna talk about Surat's mother. Let's get back to and you know what Surat does look like his grandmother. He look like his mother and his grandma. It's crazy. Okay, but she said, you know, grandma said, well, you know, mental illness is very serious, but sorry, I just think he just has a devil in him. Mm -hmm. He just has a devil. He just has a devil. All right, let's get it. I'm going to share something else, too. I'm going to share a video. Let's go back to mama. There she go, redhead. I want to tell you these people something else. Okay. All right, give me a second while I share the screen. Okay, and the sentencing is going to be next week, Tuesday and Wednesday. Okay, now let's watch Mama. See what she has to say. Okay, let's show this clip of Sewer Rat's Mommy. Let's get it. testimony in the trial against Waukesha parade attack suspect Daryl Brooks on the witness and Brooks's ex-girlfriend Erica Patterson. She testified that Brooks physically assaulted her during an argument right before driving his SUV into the Waukesha Christmas parade in November of last year. Six people died in that attack. Now Brooks has pleaded not guilty in the case. He's representing himself in court and he cross-examined his ex for half for today. Question as to whether they saw the plaintiff state of Wisconsin in the courtroom. Actually, I think When I know my. For the first time since the start of this trial, Daryl Brooks's mom is sharing how she feels about her son, her thoughts on the case, and the message to the victims of that attack. Mary Stoker Smith. When I know a monster and treat him like he's nothing but a sewer rat, when I know and treat him like he's nothing but a sewer rat when I and let people paint him as a monster and treat him like he's nothing but a sewer rat. I guess mama didn't get the memo. Your son is a sewer rat. Okay, it is what it is. I guess you didn't get the memo. Mm -hmm. You didn't realize? Mm -hmm. And um, let's go back. Grandma, grandma, no disrespect to you, but you know, it is what it is. Your grandson is a sewer rat. Yes, he is. He's a sewer rat. All right, let me resume with the video. And let people pay him as a monster. And treat him like he's nothing but a sewer rat when I know that is not my son. Time, so now Earl is sharing how she got her son, her thoughts on the case, and the much of the victims of this one on one interview. What message do you have for the, the families that are left of the victims who died? I just want them to know that that was not a deliberate act. But the video shows him yeah. going yeah. and not stopping. Yeah. How could, how some people will ask, how is that not yeah. deliberate? I asked him that question. And he said, mama, I don't know. He said, I don't know what I was doing. I don't know. He does. Mama, I don't know. Mama, I don't know. I don't know what I was doing. You knew exactly what she was doing when you took that car and you took your mama's car and drove up into that into that parade. First, you took the car to go and beat up your girlfriend because she wouldn't give you no money. You put your hands on her, then you take the car and went into the parade. 
Oh, mama, I don't know. Mama, I don't know. What is this crap? If this is not being an enabler, I don't know what it is. Oh, my gosh. I'm looking forward for the sentence. And don't worry, y'all. I'm going to recover uh, um, cover it because I just got to see it. I just got to see what the heck the um, sewer rat's grandma got to say. What is she going to say? I don't even think the mother's going to come. She said she's not going to come. It's too much for her. I know why it's too much for you. Because you created a sewer rat. All right. Let me read you. Doesn't know. He can't answer that. But I asked him that question. And he said, Mama, I don't know. He said, I don't know what I was doing. I don't know. He doesn't know. He can't answer that. I wish the police could have got out the tire something. Excuse me. Let's not try to put shift blame to the police. I wish they would have shut up the tire and did something. No, 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 no. They was not prepared for some lunatic sewer rat of a son of yours to come inside a parade on a Christmas holiday. Christmas time is coming up. You know how sad it's going to be for that whole town? For everybody's going to be so sad that they lost someone or they almost died. They traumatized. They're going through this. They're going through that. There's people, as we're speaking right now, still going in and out of hospital trying to get their body right. They can never get their body right. If not, they mentally messed up. Yeah, you're sewer rat of a son. I don't know, mama. I don't know. I don't know. Don't treat my son like a sewer rat. Now, how else are we supposed to treat him? Get out of here. You got to be kidding me. And what does Moon say? And she believes him. Yeah, what, what is this? What is this? If this is not being enabled, I don't know what it is, sister. I don't know. Hugs and kisses to you. Yeah, this is insane. I don't know. I don't know, mama. I don't know. What is this? Oh, gosh, I'm just going crazy off of this. This is insane. You know, too many enablers. This man, your son is a true sociopath, and it's something about you, too. Mm hmm Yeah, something about you, too. Mm, can't wait to see what grandma got to say. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Mm, Seems like grandma just might just want to be on, on TV. That's just my opinion. Oh, this is my thoughts and opinion. Let's resume. But he, he can't tell me. I can't tell you. Only God knows. Is he remorseful? He, 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 we talk about the family often and the victims. And he says to me that he prays for them too. And he has to live with the fact that six people died because of him. He feel ashamed. Do you feel responsibility that? Yes. If I would have just not met him, none of this would have happened. Feels remorse. Okay, Lady Jim, you heard what she said? She did not bail him out. See what I'm talking about? She's being his enabler. She bailed him out. This monster shot at his nephew, her grandson. You understand? The nephew. Because, the, I mean, well, how did I get it? So the rat's sister, he has a twin sister who died a few years ago. So I guess the grandson is staying, you know, staying with the grandma, you know, staying with her and everything. And he shot him because he was arguing off a cell phone. And he shot at his own nephew. Are you kidding me? And I think that's what she bailed him out for. I think I could be wrong. Yes, sister. Yeah, I hope I got it right. Let me let me say it correctly. Sewer Rat has a twin sister. She died a few years ago. So Sewer Rat's sister had a son. And the son is living with grandma. That's her, the one you see on the screen. Right? So something happened arguing with a cell phone. Sewer Rat pulls out a gun and shoots at his nephew. Now, it's already hard for the nephew going on in life because he doesn't have his mother, right? And we don't know what the situation with the fault, if he's in the picture or not, I don't know, right? But he's living with grandma. So maybe the father really isn't in the picture because he's living with grandma, right? I'm just assuming my thoughts and opinion. And your uncle, you would think that would step up and be the man and take care of his sister's, his sister's son. You know what I mean? Well, my sister's not here. I got you. I'm going to take care of him. Be like your dad. Be like your mom. But no, what did he do? He pulls a gun out on him? Are you kidding me? And I think that's what she bailed him out for. I could be wrong. 
Oh, it's insane. All right, let's resume. Let's resume. Why the antics in court? In court is. Is there anything you can say to tell him to stop? I have told him. Will you continue to? I will continue to tell him. Do you think Daryl should go to prison? And if for so, how long? There should be some accountability to what he did. Yes, ma'am. How long? That's not for me to say. That was Mary Stoker Smith reporting from our affiliate in Milwaukee. Daryl Burr. 76 charges, including six counts of first degree intent. There should be some accountability, but for how long? I can't say. I can say it for life. He should never be able to walk the streets again. That's what she should be saying. But that's all right, ladies and gentlemen. You know she's being harassed. You know they're coming at her. You know they are. But she act like it's nothing. Got to be kidding me. All right. I'm going to show you another clip. Now, we're going to show Surat's mama. Mama. Yeah, we're going to show her again. This was after the sentence. I mean, after the um the, um the verdict. Excuse me, after the verdict because he was found guilty. All right. Let's let's go back. Yeah, we just recapping a little bit. Recapping. Y'all just hanging in. Just let's recap a little bit. Mm -hmm. They go, Grandma. Grandma got something to say for her grandson. Grandson Surat. You know, he, he shot your grandson Surat shot at your great grandson. Yeah, that's your great your great grandson. Mm -hmm. You know that, right? He took a gun and shot him, right? Or have you forgotten about it? You didn't hear about that one? I know I heard about it. I read about it. Did you did you hear about it? Guess not. It must don't mean nothing. I feel sorry for that nephew. He probably feels so alone. Like, why is everybody supporting him? Why is everybody so sorry about for my monster store rat uncle? Mm, mm, mm. See, I look at all angles, ladies and gentlemen. I look at all angles. All right, let's let's see. All right, what's the other one? Let me show the other video. Okay, I hope I got the right one. This is the one. After the sentencing. Oh boy. Can we just show this? Give me a second, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully, I got this one. Yep. Okay. I got it, ladies and gentlemen. Just give me a second to put it up here for y'all. Okay, this is the response of Surat's mama after he was found. Hope I got it right here. After he was found guilty. Oh, Lord have mercy. Look at her. God, don't know. The heck? Why you put that crap in your hair? You think you cute with that color, don't you? You really do. You think you fine. Oh, my God. Each his own. Each his own. If you want to walk around looking like a clown, that's just you. Halloween is over. Let's get it. Advocate yeah, people need to understand mental illness and understand people who are mentally ill are hurting. They're trapped. And a lot of them don't know the way I will show compassion. The families who have loved ones that are suffering from mental illness, a lot of them are ashamed to even talk about it or to say he's crazy and don't want to have anything to do with them. To, um, those people need to help more than anything. Seek out treat, treatment where there is. Speak up for them. Be an advocate for them. And then when you see people out in the street, you see them acting, and you just laugh at them, joking, and you turn away. You know, stop and say a prayer because I sent Daryl early on. 
a poem written by my angel. And seven of Black History Month. And I never thought about that poem again. And the Lord brought it to my memory. And I remember back when I was a child. My we all thought Jerry where he up again and I read it again and I realized that Bird wasn't singing because he was happy with that Bird was singing because he wanted to be out of that cage and be free and I told Gerald I said you're this cage bird mental illness has clipped your wings and those prison bars are going to be your cage and you know, no one felt his singing to come apart with their beard. But I told him, to, you know, he got his mental issues. Our senators and our governors and more And when people come, Now, ladies and gentlemen, please, I don't want to think like disrespectful to anybody who's suffering through mental illness or who's watching this and stuff. Yeah, it's serious. But in some cases, I just don't believe it's all mental illness. I think you just got the devil in you. I think the man is just pure evil. She's trying to find every reason but to say is, my son is a sore rat. My son is a monster. What he did was a horrible thing. He killed innocent people on holidays, Christmas holidays. Everybody was out with their family having a good time. And he took away their lives. He took away some people that they love, they care about, their brothers and sisters, their aunts, their uncles, their grandmother. No, she won't say that. All she's talking about is mental illness is serious. Maybe there'll be more awareness for police officers and everybody. No, no, no. It's not about that awareness crap, okay? Don't want to hear that. Your son is a monster. He has a criminal record. He's been a criminal all his life. Well, if you knew, honey, as a parent, that he has mental illness, why you did when he was a child and do something about it? <clears throat> Go and take him to train doctors and find out what you could do to help him. Maybe need a little medicine. Maybe need some therapy or something. Why you didn't do anything? You talking about all this mental illness. You want to bring awareness. You had your opportunity with him. You could have did all kinds of things, but you didn't. You don't want to hear this crap. Then you're going to put the blame on everybody else and everybody else will be held responsible with this mental illness. He killed six people, injured several people. I can even show you videos. I'm seeing people as we speaking right now. It was over a year ago that's going in and out. Hey, realist, hugs and kisses to you. You know, going in and out of hospitals, getting therapy, children, babies, one lady, four of her children, four of her children got hit by that monster, four of her children. And all you're going to talk about is mental illness. Maybe now they'll take awareness to it. See, you see, this is what I'm talking about with these type of people that's called enablers, sociopaths, narcissists. They do not want to set responsibility. They want to shift it to somebody else. It's always somebody else's fault, but it's not their fault. They don't want to accept the responsibility that they're wrong. This is ridiculous. Oh, my gosh. I can't wait to see what grandma had to say. This is going to be insane. All right. Let me resume, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. But what Sister Moon says, that man is evil. Evil is, yes, he is evil. Absolutely. Real is hugs and kisses to you and blessings and good morning. Love, laugh, and live. I love it. He's using it as a toy so he could get leniency. Yeah. Ah, you ain't getting nothing. Sore rat, you ain't getting nothing. Let me tell you something. Love, laugh, and live. His days is over. I think he's been coddled all his life during school and everything. He got away with so much. That's why he's the way he is now. Mama, mama got let him get away with stuff. Grandma probably let him get away with stuff. I mean, it's all my thoughts and opinions. Now look at him. So now he's going to jail for life. Well, your days is over. All right. Sister Moon says, sweet Lord, that's terrible. Yeah, it is. It is. And this is all she could talk about is his mental illness and grandma too. 
Grandma. Let's all grandma. Let's, let's, let's look at grandma right here. Yeah, grandma. Grandma coming. Grandma gonna speak. Grandma got something to say. Because this is serious. I'm an advocate for mental illness. I have bipolar running in three generations in my family. I don't want to hear that bipolar stuff. No, no disrespect for people got bipolar because bipolar is serious. But in some cases, let's not put on the bipolar. Let's not put on nothing. Okay. There's a lot of people bipolar out here. They don't take a car and drive up in here and kill people. Get out of here. All right, let's resume. Before the turn of the what can we help this person become mentally well? That's what needs to happen. Do you think he can get help in? in... No. Individuals who are incarcerated with mental illness. That's why I want him to go to a hospital where he can still get treatment, but that, that won't be. He would be prison. But he needs. Well, as see. But you think he should have done any prison time? Yes. We, yeah. you know, we have to for you know, this, I, I lucky you. Uh, Mother of Surat, that it's, it's easy for you to move forward. You said we could just move forward. Lucky for you that you can move forward, but not everybody else can. You see, you know, I mean, as parents, we can't control our children's actions, okay? I'm not trying to put all faults on parents, right? Because sometimes you could just birth a monster. You just you didn't even know. You know, you was carrying a monster, your child. You was carrying the, the, the child of Satan. You didn't know. Mommy, daddy laid down and had Satan. Things like this happen. But the point that I'm trying to say is when you see them acting up and they doing stuff like this and you're being an enabler and you're supporting this crap, then I question you as a parent. That's the point I'm trying to say. Now, if she would just come out and say, oh, my gosh, I can't believe he did. <clears throat> this is wrong. This is absolutely wrong. But no, she wants to shift blame on everybody else. Mental illness, the police officers, the system. People didn't do anything. Well, then well, let's talk about you. Why you didn't do nothing. Why you didn't go and get him some help and take him to a doctor and find out what the heck was going on instead of bailing him out? You see, he's over here is abusive. He has a temper. He beats on women. He ran over another woman with a car. Yeah, 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 that's right. He did that. Mm -hmm. So why don't you do something? But you still talking about mental illness? This is okay with you? He's making kids. He, well, he got three or four kids and he ain't doing nothing to take care of his kids, not paying child support, but you still supporting this man? Are you kidding me? This is insane. This is totally insane. But you know what, ladies and gentlemen, this happens so often. This happens a lot. A lot of parents can support their kids' madness. They think it's cute. Or you know what it is? They just as bad as the kids, too. That's why they support it. Think about it. What you think? What you think? Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. All right. Let me see right here. Did I miss a comment? All right. Uh, Love, Laugh, and Live says, certainly she has, she's never tried to put herself in those victims' shoes. Exactly. Because she doesn't have empathy. That's what empathy is about. Divas in the house. Rainy woman, Donna, good morning, beautiful. And good morning to you, Diva. Good morning, good morning. Yeah, we back with Sewer Rat again. This is ridiculous. Oh, you, you missed the Rainy woman while I was showing Grandma. Grandma's coming to the courthouse. Rainy woman, she's coming to the courthouse because she has something to say for her grandson. This is crazy. All right, let me let me resume. I'm just getting worked up here. You know, this is ridiculous. I'm so tired, people. You know, like I said, we can't, you know, as parents, you know, you don't know how your child's going to turn. You can do the best that you can to raise your kids, talk to them, guide them, raise them, raise them in the church house, teach them to eat right, you know, teach them this, teach them that. They can just turn around, do a whole other direction. But you don't have to support that, do you? 
But for you to support that, it says something about you. Mm -hmm. I wonder why you cannot come. <clears throat> All right, oh, what rainy woman said? Can you show? Oh, sure, girl. I'll show you grandma again. We can do grandma again. All right, let me finish off this video and I'll show you grandma again. Okay, girl. I just want to die. That's how I feel right now. Oh, pull out the violins. Yep, I see where Surat got it from, Mama. Look at her. You see how she just shift? Now we're supposed to feel sorry for her. Did you just catch that? I just want to curl up and die. I'm just, it's just so much. You see, now she shift the focus on her. We're supposed to feel sorry for her. This is where Surat learned it from, Mama Surat. See what I'm saying? This is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, gosh, this is ridiculous. All right. Now, we're just going to recap. We're going to show Grandma. Mm -hmm. Surat's Grandma. Yeah, we're going to show that again. Let's watch that clip in case people came in later. Mm -hmm. There goes Surat's Grandma. Look like a donut. Mm -hmm. All right. Let me share. Surat's grandma feels she needs to be there to speak on behalf of her grandson. Yes, because mental illness is so serious. Oh, boy. Let's get it. Right now, I'm in prison. Tuesday at his sentencing. That's after a jury convicted him on all counts in the Waukesha Christmas Parade tragedy. Bruce Harrison will be in the courtroom for those proceedings, and he tells us what to expect from those who will speak at the sentencing. Some of those people will be walking down this hall to go into that courtroom where they'll make their statements in person. Others have the opportunity to appear over Zoom. It's the final stage in what's been an incredibly dramatic trial. In a letter to the court, District Attorney Sue Opper says all oral victim impact statements will be made in person. The record also shows minors will be speaking. For now, their names and written impact statements remain under seal. Guilty. Sentencing comes after a jury found Daryl Brooks guilty on all counts last month. He's facing life in prison. On Friday, I spoke with his mother, Don Woods, by phone and grandmother over Zoom. I just want to help. They both plan to speak on his behalf at sentencing next week over Zoom. 80-year-old Mary Darlene Edwards is an ordained minister and mental health advocate. How are you feeling? Well, because I want to help people. Um, not, and I have three generations of bipolar people in my family. Brooke's mother and grandmother believe he's mentally ill. At limbs. There are uh, focus, so much focus now on mental health more than ever before. I don't want to call it a hot topic. It's a critical issue. Sensing begins on Tuesday morning and is scheduled to last through Wednesday. Reporting. So that's the sewer rat's grandma. Mm -hmm. She feels she needs to speak on this mental illness. Okay, well, you said it was three generations, right? You're an advocate. Well, why you didn't talk to your daughter about, hey, maybe we need to do something for our grandson because he's a little bit out of control? Mm -hmm. I'm just saying, these are all my thoughts and opinions. I don't live with them. I don't know the whole situation. I'm just going by the little bit of clips and stuff that I'm reading. So since you're an advocate for a mental illness, right? awareness or whatever you do and stuff like that well how come i think did she just say that the mother's gonna go maybe the mother done changed her mind yes exactly rain woman exactly enabler so explain to me why you didn't talk to your daughter yes let's, let's show the, the daughter 
Why grandma didn't talk to the daughter? Mm-hmm. Where, where, where we at? Where we at? See, grandma, you could have talked to your daughter about your grandson to go and get him some help. And this wouldn't happen. But instead, your daughter keeps bailing him out. And you know about this. And he shot your great-grandson. He pulled the gun out on your great-grandson. I don't even shot him, but he shot at your great-grandson. He's crazy. And your grandson ran over somebody else with a car, too. This is insane. I don't get this. I just don't get it. I really don't. I, I just I just don't get it, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, if anybody who's watching this, watching the replay, if you want to explain to me, please just be respectful because I just don't understand. And I understand why she doesn't feel that her son should not be treated, should be treated like a sore rat. He is a sore rat. What else is he? What else could he be? Hmm? But a sore rat. This is just insane. This is really, this really is insane. <clears throat> Too much enabling. Too much. Well, you know what, ladies and gentlemen, at the end, it's all over. It's all over and done with. This show is over. Him being a clown and in the courtroom showing himself, it's over. It's over and done with. But we're going to see what the sentencing, the sentencing is going to be like. And I will cover that. So they said, what they said, Tuesday and Wednesday, I think it was? Tuesday and Wednesday? Whatever. Stay tuned for it because I can't, I won't be able to do it live when it's happening on Tuesday. So I'll do it in the evening time. But on Wednesday, I'll probably be able to stop working from home. So I'll be able to do it live and see with the sentencing because it's going to be a two-day thing because there's a lot of people that's going to speak up. And I think they even said there's going to be children going to speak up. There's people as we're speaking right now suffering in pain. They're never going to get their body back or not just your body, your mind back. Mm -hmm. What about them? All right. Rainy Woman says enablers and excuse maker. Neither of them are empathetic towards the victim. That's the point I'm trying to make. You got it, Rainy Woman. I don't see no empathy. Did you see any empathy? At the end, what did what did Sore Rat's mother do with the red hair? I don't know. I'm just so sad. I just she saw the crime. We shifting the blame, so we supposed to feel sorry for her. Pull out the violins because it's so hard on her. We're just gonna have to get over. Get out. You gotta be kidding me. Rainy Woman says, have a great week and thank you for the positive and you're so welcome. Yes, I'm ending it now. I didn't want to go past 30 minutes, but I did. I might be going live a little later on again because it's something else, another crime that came up. And we're going to court. I'll just give you a brief summary. Um, it's basically this man, Terry, Matthew Terry, and shout out to Jackie and thank you for letting me know about this. Matthew Terry, who killed his girlfriend because they went out to the bar. And he got jealous, thinking that she was dancing with another man, which she didn't. So it got crazy. He ended up killing her that night. Are you flipping kidding me? Yeah, the trial is going on. So I might show that a little bit later on, a little bit clips on that one. All right, if you want to come, you can come. If not, I understand completely. But thank you for being here. Thank you for being here. Thank you for engaging. And thank you for the Purple Hearts, everybody. Everybody says this is a great, uh, a great morning, great afternoon. Do something productive and all that good stuff. All right. And thank you for coming again.